Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morning, Miss Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. These things can be tricky, you know. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Finally. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Good morning. 
morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Good. Next. Almost done. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty.
Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Morgan, there. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. We won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe on the list you requested. Take a look. three years. The video should be on your workstation. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test fronts, but someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just 
roster. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum, no gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with the propulsion system first. as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Thirty-five. 
I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. Morgan. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Wait, something's wrong. I'm talking to the lift control system. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request, and something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the Arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. There's a route through the Psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. This is Security Chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Answer me. My team's locked down tight here. We need those lifts working. Sam, it can't be a power loss, can it? I don't think so, Chief. The main lift and all the airlocks shut down at once. It had to be manual. Damn it. First they give us pop guns, put us on babysitting duty, open the gates of hell and lock us in. Tronstar's going to need an army of lawyers when I get Earthside. Anyone else on the station, get to a safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then seal yourself in. We're working on the problem, and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. Elazar out. Certainly he's hidden neuromods there. 
Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that, and maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Hello. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. By mistake, was a queen that put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't even seem to see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us, of course. I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. This is Dr. Calvino. I'm feeling ill. I am not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Morgan, 
This is January. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. Standing thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. All right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can lock myself in. Are you okay? I'm just cut you. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. is off the Arboretum. Your brother's office is up here as well. Jupiter and his palace at the top of the heavens. You used to say that line. But that would make you... What? Do you know? No. That's an unpleasant thought. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Morgan, 
That Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities, only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Logging cell diagnostic. Files corrupted. List. Convalescence. Confidentiality. Dopamine. Zachary West strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Camellia. Fortitude. Rendezvous. Identification required. Please repeat the following words. Gravity. Corkscrew. Microgravity detected. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be, try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you. One step at a time. I'm here. If you need help. You, I see you. Another puppet. Look at the same movie right there behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. <laughs> Stupid pirates! What? You do? You want to come into a cup? Cup! Oh no. 
How many bodies do we have, huh? Where will you stop? Stop! Don't think with all the pocket bombs. Why do you obey? You can't fight it. You know how to pop it, huh? Maybe you stop, stupid thief. You think you can kill me with them? Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Files? Officer Files. Malia, I have an important request. In the sense that no, I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me. Yes, sir. I understand. Keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me a report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? Look, you need to keep your password safe, all right? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Hey, hey, over here! Open this door! Please, can you get it open? Except you, if you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets. Bomb. They're not this close. Kill beast or puppets, or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Warrior. 
Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. <sighs> All right. Let me light a torch. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You... made it. Yes. Right here. Yes. Yeah? Had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. You family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with them is easy, but did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. Welcome, everyone. You've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 Neuromod mark. 8,000 Neuromods. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear sister, Morgan. It was left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transstar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transstar, to the Neuromart, and the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employers, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday. Except Chief Shaw, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. Just acquired. Micro gravity. 
protected.
last. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint tint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. We found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though, I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Dr. Yu! Morgan! Up here! Officer Cool! If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well... Now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Morgan? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. They weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? The officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. If only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but I could have done more. God, watching those things move it makes me sick. Right outside. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse. Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us Hello. this far. Hello, nice to see you. We're safe from here. Diagnosing, yeah. bruising, abrasions, to... fatigue. Nothing life-threatening. Yes. Try to relax. There, all better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Attention, due to a catastrophic breach in Cargo Bay 1, all personnel are to avoid the area... Morgan Yu. I'm surprised you escaped SimLab. Yes, I knew about that. I checked the shuttle logs when the rumors about you being demoted started circulating. All I found was you checked into the sim lab but never signed out. Not sure you could, but it seems you've escaped. Just like these creatures of yours. The ones your brother said couldn't get free. Wish I had better news. We're holding out here, but just barely. These standard issue PPNs might as well be cap guns for all the good they do to those things. Only way back into Talos is through Cargo Bay B, and that's locked tight for our safety. And yours. You want the code? Help us fortify things here. That means eradicator turrets, and lots of them. To do that though, we'd need fabrication plans and a working fabricator. And both of those are out of reach at the moment. The fabrication plan is in the safe in the security office. But the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. 
Dr. Yu? Dr. Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures. It... You... I'm sorry, Dr. Yu, that was out of line. Say the word, Chief. No alien material detected. Officer Maddox, ready. Check the room. Study Hopefully what's that here. Anything doubles up, go. know which one to shoot, all right? After this. We gonna pop the door or what? EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Bay B. You men ready? We only get one shot at this. Stay alert. Might be more. More gun. Micah, not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan is making her way to you now. Warning you and anyone else, so you don't shoot her accidentally. Or on purpose. Attention, due to a catastrophic breach in Cargo Bay 1, all Paraplexis. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shot from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock bomb. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... I'll just get here, all right? Very no, nothing that interferes with memory formation. How does it feel? Do you remember? The first time you said it was like you were outside yourself, like time itself had bent at its knee, waiting for you to decide. You moved my chair without touching it. It gave me chills. The possibilities. As I believe now, our mission is to lift up all humanity in the same way. A little bird told me you plugged a leak in an unconventional manner a few weeks ago. Yeah? Was it an ass-kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. Care to elaborate? I'm going to get my PPC I'll dunk you in the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare ah! parts to do the job right. Roger that, boss. Suit protected. Boy, Morgan. A qualified engineer. I thought I was going to die. <coughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. Where did that thing come from? Was it Tony? The way it was looking at me. I get up, <laughs> except for my legs and my lungs and my nervous system. Don't look surprised. Paraplexus, remember? You want me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the lifts. I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor controller. There's a pile of shot in the floor. The whole station. The computer will scream at you. Just do it. 
Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. It should. It will. Now, go. <sighs> System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines are hydrogen cool. Now they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. <laughs> You are correct. You are one of the few survivors. I... yes. It's... wait. Is that fabricator functioning? 
I might be able to make use of it. With your permission, more... Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Ikwe, and manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the Typhon. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. I'm sending you the code to my graph shaft. Assuming it still works. Morgan, I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth. Like I promised. Wait a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer. Another video. Give it a look, and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talos One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone. Let me strip out the neural ones and reset. I know. I'm pretty my mother. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Alex just has to grow up there and commit. You don't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests. They changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually. A constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhoon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Carl. I'll send you the scan locations. Good afternoon, Talos. Don't forget that Transtar safety standards call for a weekly inspection of your uniform. Report to the hardware labs for a diagnostic. Morgan, that video was... I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the Coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. 
But why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose. Or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? Friends with memory formation. Search complete. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but wait. What is there's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral? Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Good afternoon, Carlos. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, these will transfer us to the cluster station. Something or someone. Shit. This is Commander Walter Doll. The Transtar Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One. Effective immediately. All employees must now report to the shuttle bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way.
Perhaps you blame me for what's happened, but I never intended to harm any of you. Believe me, quite the opposite. Commander Dahl, on the other hand, has no intention of rescuing anything except the secrets aboard this station. Do all our villages to the company now. Dahl, I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what the... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call up your operators, or at least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge of... Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist, even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made, or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst, but this, this is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Commander Dahl, this is William Yu. Acting Chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. The sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Trans Star personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be in the hardware labs. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after... Morgan, do you want to know what I think? I think you wanted to forget. You weren't being brave for science. You wanted to stop feeling like a monster. Three years of feeding your fellow human beings to the Typhon. Oof. <laughs> I understand. You see, I do the same. Before every mission, I poke a neuromod into my eye. Then I am free to do whatever I must. So, I will kill you. I will kill your brother. And I will butcher everyone on this station without pause. And when I go home, I will have this neuromod removed. Where did the time go? My only thought will be, how did I earn so much money? It's a wonderful invention. Commander Dahl, this is Casper. Status report. All major servers and terminals are locked down. We've been intercept protocols are in operation. Searching access patterns within the last three hours. Progress estimate, 63%. Affirmative. Resuming. Ranging 
Alex, you can come out now. Or, fine. I can send an operator in after you. Enough. I'm coming. Over here. You can shoot me, but you won't be able to stop what's coming. Alex, I don't think this Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scanned the Apex, but all my models point to suffering.
Morgan, everything is ready. Now that the keys are armed, the order to execute is given from Captain Mark's terminal. I'm not able to execute. That responsibility is yours. Give the order to detonate. Captain Mark's terminal. Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed. Next and final topic. Your mind is free of significant Typhon neuromods. I believe the risk you pose to Earth is minimal. However, despite my belief, I cannot act against my directives. In fact, I've already confiscated the key card to Alex's private escape pod. It's in my storage compartment. If I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. I just wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Morgan. to be low, I'm afraid. It probably thinks it was dreaming, but nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us. Kayla. I died. Perhaps it could have prevented it. I don't know. 
Would you let it live? No. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. I didn't survive, but at least he tried to help. Unfortunately, it was unable or unwilling to help when Dal held us hostage. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I just don't think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos Y. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... is the wall of today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do.